Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and a video update for my Market Club Trading Diary. Uh, two new things to report today. Number one is that unfortunately I was stopped out uh, on my Euro Dollar trade which I posted about yesterday uh, at 129.67. Uh, so that's two losing trades in a row to get me started off with the Market Club software, uh, which is a little discouraging, but at the same time, this is a trend-following strategy, so we knew from the beginning that we should expect more losing trades than winning trades, which is why uh, money management is so important here and why uh, the uh, target profit targets that we look for are always at least twice as big as the stop losses that we place. Okay, so that brings the uh, paper trading account balance down to $29,131. Uh, that was a $418.60 loss on yesterday's trade. Um, and, you know, that's where we're at. So the second new thing to report is uh, I received a video from Market Club today uh, recommending a long position in United Airlines stock and watch that video and I like the analysis there. Uh, so I'm going to take that trade. Uh, when I watched the video, the market was at uh, $15.20, uh, and they recommend a stop in, at $10.50. I'm actually going to put my stop at $10. I like that area, the $10 area, better. Uh, and they are targeting $27 on the trade, which I think is a fair uh, chance that we'll, that we'll get up there. Uh, so long. Uh, uh, 84 shares is what it comes out to when you I'm risking willing to risk uh, one and a half percent here again on the $29,131 that we have that I have left in the paper trading account uh, that comes out to $437 and when I divide the uh, stop loss level into that it gets uh, it gets me to my position size of 84 shares okay for anyone who is not familiar with Market Club or what I'm doing here with my review of the software, uh, I've included some links below this video on informtrades.com. Uh, for everyone else, the uh, United Airlines analysis that I spoke about earlier is what I'm going to show you next. Hi, it's Adam Houston. I'm coming to you, as always, from the digital studios of Market Club. And the market that we're looking at today may surprise you. Now, this market actually peaked out around, around the 52 level, had a, quite a severe decline, and uh, it looks like it's making some sort of a base here. The market we're talking about is United Airlines, and the symbol is UA, UA. Okay? If you just thought about the airlines, you say, oh gosh, that's not a very interesting stock to buy, but there's some incredible things going on with this stock that I want to share with you today. So let's take this off the screen and let's analyze exactly what's happening. As you can see, we came from the highs we talked about around the 52 level, traded all the way down to around the 5 area. We had the rally back up, came back down to test, and now we've gone back up and we've gone over this area. And that's an important element. We've looked at these, we call these pivot points and they're incredibly reliable in trading so we've had the down move this was all basically uh, related to gas gasoline or jet fuel I should say I'll put if you remember uh, jet fuel and regular gasoline at the pump was going up and forcing the costs of UAL to go up also and cut into the profit margin. So it was, it was devastating for the airlines. Now the good news is is that gasoline prices have come down and now they've come down to a level, they've come down over 50 percent. UAL right here, they could actually hedge their costs and that is they could buy jet fuel going out a year or more lock in their costs so they know what their profits are going to be for the year and that's very very important I don't think they did this uh, before but now they can lock in their costs and I think this is what's so attractive but what's interesting to me is if I didn't even know what this market was I would want to buy it and I tell you the why you've got this, these lows here we've got the pivot point we talked about and it looks like we're going to head this back up to around the 27 area and why do I say that if we get to 27 from 1670 where we are right now, we're doing we're doing this live, by the way. It's right uh, here's the date, just before the elections. The market's up over two dollars, 
and it looks like it wants to go higher. Now, the reason I said the 27 level is based on Fibonacci numbers, which you've seen us talk about before. So I'll take everything off the screen. I'm going to go up to our Fibonacci indicator right here. And you simply click on the highs and the lows. And it pushes the, gives you the target zones here. And this is the 2702 level, which is right around here. We expect this market to go to this area. Now you can also measure it from here to here and flip that up and that takes you right around the same area. So you really got some two very powerful counts saying that this stock should go up and hit the 27 level. Now it may only go to 21, possibly up to 32, but I'm guessing around the 27 level is a very good area for this. To down. It's not going to do it right away in one day. It's going to take some time, but the formation, as I say, we've got this great formation like this, the pivot point, and this normally is incredibly reliable. Now you could buy this. I'll show you where we had the triangles and where they bought this. I'll take everything off the screen. I'm going to uh, put in our triangles, and here's the monthly triangle we had at 15.84. Now the market's only at 16.48 right now, so it's not that much higher than the original buy point, which came on the 22nd. Okay, and um, it looks like it wants to go still higher. Now you take that away, and we look at the weekly charts, which will just take that down to the weekly level. And the weekly level came in earlier. So we covered up his short positions, but the important thing was on 10.22, we basically, um, October 22nd, we basically said this market is going to go higher based on our triangle technology. And that's what you have to look at. So scoping this out again, there's a beautiful uh, candlestick chart. And you can see based on the action that this market's starting to accelerate to the upside and I would expect to see the market trade to 27. Now what if we're wrong? Where are we going to put our stops? Well, what we do in this market, you basically would move your stop right down to this level here and I'll tell you exactly what that level is. You'd be looking at putting a stop on this position right around the 1050 area. So that would be the risk, $6. It sounds like a lot, but that's going to creep up to next week to be even higher and it's going to creep up obviously much higher. So we've got some room to to do this, but never set yourself up for big losses. Take small losses. It's much easier to live with. Uh, this, as I say, is a very interesting, interesting stock. Uh, it's not a stock I picked out. Our alerts picked this out for me, and it just looks like a super pattern. As I say, we've got this pattern here, the pivot point, the breakout over it, and it looks like we're going to go to 27. So that's our target zone. And I think that's where you want to be looking to uh, maybe take some profits off the table. $27 a share for UAL, symbol UAUA. Um, and let's see how it works out. This is Adam Hewison for Market Club. Thanks for stopping by. Every success.